the aftercare is, 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 is minimal, to be honest with you. Uh, we always give patients a, a drop of a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication in the event they have any discomfort at all. Uh, usually, uh, they don't require more than one or two drops max. Um, if the eyes were dry to begin with, we ask them to continue using their artificial tear drops uh, just as they would uh, normally, even if they hadn't had the procedure done. And that's, that's essentially all there is to it. Uh, if there's any sign of an infection, of course, before the procedure, then the procedure is not done, and that has to be cleared up uh, with the appropriate uh, antibiotic. But basically, they continue to use the same drops as they used uh, prior to surgery. This is another thing that sort of distinguishes optimal keratoplasty from uh, almost every other laser vision correction procedure. Almost no opt aftercare is required. Uh, we uh, uh, give patients uh, an anti-inflammatory compound, uh, eye drops that are used the, the night after the procedure and the next morning if necessary if patients feel a little scratchiness in the eye, but that's it. No steroids are used, no antibiotics, no restasis for dry eye, uh, no other medications, no bandage contact lenses or, or anything of the sort that uh, are commonly used in, in other procedures. You know, simply because we haven't done anything damaging to the eye. Uh, so no, no medications in general are needed. Okay, the whole show.